Hey guys, I'm just putting a bale in for the cattle. Um, I'm going to be putting in green feed or like good hay. And uh, I know some people might wonder why would you put in good hay in the start of the year. Normally people put in crappier um, last year's hay. My cattle have really like um, being a little bit of pain in the ass this time of year. Um, they enjoy trying to test out all my fence lines. So with me putting in decent hay, what it does is it gives them a reason to stay around the barns and all that good stuff. So that's what I'm doing. I'm putting in any of my muck up bales so that, that way they have a reason to stay around and um, it gives them a reason to not test fence lines. So that's what we're doing. So this is what we're doing. Um, this looks like crappy hay, but what this was is my baler decided not to work that time or it decided not to tie. So I just piled this all up in one area so that it would be easy for me to feed it. And that's what we're feeding here today. Um, this was when I was trying to adjust the, um, oh, come on. Um, not the height, but the bale sensitivity on each side. I uh, was really trying to make it so that they were equal in bars. While doing that, when I needed to really bale, it screwed up the sensors and it cost me about two, three hours and about four or five bales where they didn't wrap properly. So this is what I have. The only thing is, is it keeps me from having to, um, keeps me from having to take wrap off. So that's what this is. It's actually a lot better quality than it looks from the outside. So once they peel through the first layer, it's gonna be green hay. So one thing I like to do here when I'm feeding in the summer is I like to create a pattern. And I'll honk a couple times so that the cattle know that sound means hay's going in. So when I'm loading in the fall, it makes it a crap ton easier because then I just honk the horn and they have a reason to come up to check out to see the hay, right? So that's what I'm doing. That's what we're dealing with today. I got someone that wanted to, um, um, one second. That should do it. Um, someone that wanted to pick up bales tomorrow. So. I got to put fuel on the tractor, I had to put the loader on, and I'll open this gate up again for the cattle. I don't know why, they really like it in there. There's something about that barnyard that makes them feel all good inside. So, But with the tractors everywhere, I didn't really plan that. I didn't really expect the 35 to really give me that trouble. So now in my freaking driveway, I have three tractors, or two, I put that one there just so it's easy to get when I come, uh, when I kind of get going in the mornings. And um, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. Um, I I gotta get this hay out as much. I like getting this hay out as quick as possible because that money just goes back into the farm and goes back into more or less uh, paying for other equipment and paying for all the costs that are associated with it. But as I've mentioned before in multiple videos, um, normally hay money doesn't really come in till the fall, um, late fall, because that's when everyone starts scrambling. Um, anyway, so that's what really goes on. Um, the reason I really wanted to move it, I don't want to move it that bad, but I wanted to move it is because I wanted to put some fencing in for my loading area. Uh, here, I'll just show you guys quick. What I'd like to do is redo this, re and strengthen this all up so that it has nice posts in it. Um, and then that building's fine for keeping them in, but also to redo posts across here and this fence or this gate. I hate loading in here, but it's a starting point in my mind. If I can get that as a starting point, at least I know I have good fence in here. So if I got to put something in here, knowing I kind of have a little bit more security that I'll have good fence. Um, weeds grew up because the barn used to be here. We cleaned that out one fall, last fall, I believe. And then uh, the weeds grew up and I've just been kind of using it as a burn spot. 
because it's the only empty spot. This was where the scrap pile was for anybody that was watching my earlier videos. Cecil's like growing up in here. I've been trying to keep them down as much as I can, but um, eventually it'll turn back into lawn. It's just right now I got it. It'll get worse before it gets better just to clean up and clean up all the old scrap and steel and all that stuff. So that's it for today, guys. So take care, keep farming, keep having fun.